The will has spoken. The will has given Horky Okamwe. With Horky Okamwe at Hell's Hot Spring Town. Again with this. Come on. <laughs> uh. Soaps, bath stools, clothing baskets. Good. I haven't forgotten anything. fortune told. Oh, and I won't be needing any compensation. Helping the lost is one of my few pleasures in life, and in death as well. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. I'll have to take my leave. You have someone you love in secret, don't you? Feelings you've resolved to hide until the grave takes you, yes? Someone you decided to keep your distance from, thinking that your guilt makes you unworthy of their affection. Ridiculous. What do you know about my life? Repress your feelings and do all you can for your love's sake, whether they wish it or not. Oh, what a pity. You speak the truth, yet this I have long accepted. After sending those children t to their deaths, I have no right to put my feelings before someone else's. the deaths of your children on a pedestal and see them as absolute because they died for others. That is clear as day. Yet even though you have also died for others, you believe yourself unforgivable. What logic is that? <laughs> That's precisely what Zamato said. find no forgiveness, then what hope do those children have? Should they not suffer forever in hell under whatever sins they have accumulated? Dear bitch. <laughs> okay. Your heart holds the power to decide whether it is hell or paradise they find themselves in. The choice is yours. I Oy. I ask of you, which is it that you desire? Would you see them fall into hell? Or would you? Is it not obvious? Paradise! 
This is the only place for them. I wish them joy more than anyone else does. Than anyone could. Then I place this question atop the first. What is it you desire? What will you allow your heart? Now, what will you allow your heart joy? That for me for a minute. I just wanted to treat them well. To indulge them. I wanted to give them everything they wanted. It seems to me there is someone in your life. Someone crying in your heart. That you can respond to. Go to them. Make them happy. Never forget that it is you who hold the power to turn your hell into a paradise. What was the quote? What was the quote I'm trying to think of? Oh, what? Where did he go? Where did they go? who said that because that's somebody else's quote the mind is its own place and in itself can make a hell of heaven well can make a heaven of hell and a hell of heaven someone takes residence in your soul whether they drown you with their weight or become a source of strength is up to you and you alone. Who in the world was that? I... No. Ah. Parad from John Milton's Paradise Lost. Um, welcome back. You sure were fast. Work your comedy? I, I did not want to keep you waiting, so I hurried. Ah, oh, my hero. You're on your way to the hot springs, right? join me? Well, if you're offering, I'll take you up on it. I shall join you in the waters. Do give me a few moments to put away these supplies. Got, we gotta go for a dip. If I don't, the Horky Okabui fans will put me. <laughs> will <laughs> they will come? They will come at me with with torches and pitchforks if I do not. <laughs> Sorry for the wait, my hero. Let us be off to the hot spring room. I had dropped you in my surprise. You're the one who picked me up. Whoop, whoop. 
well. I do not mean to say that I don't like it. If that is what you wish, my hero, I have no complaint. So, in the really, really hot one? I had vowed to live with my guild and protect you for as long as I lived. And my life did end, and I was cast down here. But I made another vow to bring you back to the realm of the living. It seems I will be able to see that one through as well. It is truly strange to consider. While back in my home world of Kamui Kotai, I never imagined that this would happen. I'm really glad you are here. No need to thank me. I simply did what I had to for my sake. Besides, I'm the one who should be thanking you. When I look back, this journey through hell we shared was... rather fun. Your days in hell are almost at an end. <laughs> the way it, it sounds like we were all sent to, sent to jail. Turquoise serpents were amazing. Zerong was so cute out there, too. <laughs> the baths Sara Tahiko prepped were great. They felt so good to soak in. Oh, Muchi was really hospitable, too. <clears throat> Seeing Daikoku and Neki go at it was like watching a two man act. <sighs> oh, be fought over by them. <clears throat> When I look back, it really was a fun time. I just love everyone so much. Mine, my hero. Hmm? Huh? Did you say something? Could you repeat that? I said you pay the others too much mind, Brandon! Do not notice that I hold you dearer than anyone. Uh, uh, oh. Yet you act with such familiarity and friendliness to, to anyone and everyone, speaking their praises with joy in your eyes. Do you have any idea how I feel, hearing that while standing by your side? Wait a minute. You're finally looking at me, huh? F forgive me, Brandon. I did not mean to raise my voice. I simply... <clears throat> this sounds scary beyond all reason. <laughs> I 
determination during this adventure. And I did so all for you and only you. So I, I wish for a reward. Could you meet a request of mine? Uh oh. Um, sure. Sure, ask for anything. The regret, uh, regretful st statement. to do that again, Brandon. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Listen to my request and done what I asked. Now, my hero, my Brandon, it is your turn. Allow me to grant one of your wishes. If you need me to make a wish of yours come true, then I would ask you to tell me, and only me, what it is you truly desire. Show me a side of you nobody else knows.
I don't want to say any of these three, to be honest. But this is probably the best one <laughs> in my case. I love you, Jorge O'Connor. My apologies. I really should have said something about how long we spent in the hot spring just now. You aren't feeling unwell anywhere, are you? If you are, tell me before you tell Maneki. I'm too embarrassed to say. Hmm, I see. That right. Can we hang out together a little longer before heading back? I still have an unfulfilled wish. How much more do you want? That was Horky Conway's jealous boyfriend mode. Which is a major relief, which is a major step down and a major relief from what people were telling me. 